Do you, yes. see, do you hear me? yes, sir. Wow. You know, if not for this pandemic, I never would have heard of Zoom and StreamYard and all of this stuff. So in a sense, it's been a blessing. All right, we don't have any time. We're going to go through these quick. I start a lot of my presentations with this, and this tells it all to me. I'm going to tell my children their story does not begin with slavery. Now, let's start there, all right? And I guess that this is a depiction of Mansa Musa, uh, the Sultan, the mighty Sultan of the Mali Empire. Now, this is Ivan Van Sertiman. This is when Renoka Rashidi was young and handsome. Now I'm old and handsome. And this is Ivan Van Sertiman, who was the author of They Came Before Columbus. His major focus was the African presence in ancient America. And I know you wanted me to touch on that. The two areas that I really want to look at briefly, as you requested, is a brief synopsis of the African presence in Asia and a brief synopsis of Africans in America before Christopher Columbus, in other words, before slavery. Now, since we're African-centered, we're going to look at the part of Asia closest to Africa and move ourselves east. And in addition to that, we are going to start with the most remote periods and work our way up. So this one takes us to the Arabian Peninsula. This is the great hero of pre-Islamic Arabia. His name is Antari ibn Shaddad called Antara the Lion. He is a dashing knight and poet. He's the father of chivalry in the Arab world. He's a bad brother. His mother was Ethiopian. His father was Arab. And then this takes us to Israel. And this is a depiction of a scene 2,700 years ago in a Judean city called Lachish. And these were the inhabitants Black folk in what is now Israel 2,700 years ago. This is in the British Museum. Most of the photographs I'm going to show you, with some exceptions, are my museum photographs. Obviously, others are not original pictures. This is a photograph or uh, photographs meshed together from the, a book called The Origin of Races by a guy named Carlton Kuhn. Yes, Carlton S. Kuhn, written about 1950, and he was a one of the preeminent anthropologists, a racist, but a preeminent scholar nevertheless. And this is what he said the first people of the Arabian Peninsula look like. Okay. This one takes us to Iran. This is a photograph of one of the figures called the Immortals. The Immortals were the imperial bodyguard of the Persian emperors 2,500 years ago. This is in the Louvre in Paris. And then these are some black folk in Asia today. This is a sister in Yemen. This is what the first people of South Asia look like. And these are some of the black folk in India today, particularly Southeast India. This is a whole nother black population. From India, Nepal, a brother that I met from Bangladesh, it looks like we are brothers. Now, some people say we're no Karashidi. These are just dark-skinned Asians. And I take umbrage of that. That implies if we had applied that same rule, I'm a dark-skinned American. No, I'm a black man in America. These are black people in Asia. It's the same thing. We right. just exist all over the world. In China, you have an African presence at the dawn of Chinese civilization, this is a bronze libation vessel of a tiger protecting a little black man in the Shang dynasty. And this is a black man in the Yuan dynasty of China. This is a, a depiction of Bodhidharma, the man who took credit to with taking martial arts and Taoism okay. from India to the far east. These are all from China. And then these images are from Japan. This is Fudo Maya, one of the five wisdom kings in Japanese mythology and the patron of the samurai. There are two proverbs that have been used to suggest an African presence in Japan. One says for a samurai to be brave, he must have a bit of black blood. The other one says to make a good samurai, half the blood in one's veins must be black. And here is a piece from Southeast Asia. And this is from Cambodia. Now I ask you, people will say, Renoko, you tripping? These aren't really black people. Let me just ask you, basically, do these look like the features of a black person? Now, if you say, yeah, we can talk. If you say, no, I think it was the point. If you cannot see 
what is right before your eyes. And let me just move on. This is from Cambodia. This is 800 years old. This is the face of a black camera king. Okay. And this is what is in the temples of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. And here's an image of a Buddha from Vietnam, a thousand years old. And another depiction of a deity in Vietnam, a thousand years old. This one is in Thailand, 1500 years old. Images of the Buddha, 1500 years old in Thailand. Look at these, my brother, look. Look like black people. Yeah, you think? <laughs> in, the, in the Philippines, don't start me, man. In the Philippines, <laughs> these are the original people. And you can see the comparison with this fine sister, this African-American actress. I think she's gorgeous, man. Mm -hmm. And you, these are black folk in the Philippines. All right. 